in 2022 America, political ads are getting increasingly bizarre. And every single Republican at this point has at least once created an ad where they like write socialism on a piece of paper or cardboard and they shoot it or blow it up. And I feel like that's almost a rite of passage at this moment. But a GOP candidate from the state of Utah created a cringeworthy GOP ad to end all cringeworthy GOP ads. She decided to launch her campaign, wait for it, by creating a rap music video. <laughs> I'm not joking about this. And boy, I don't even know how to describe this, so let's just watch. District 12, listen up right here. There's a new name on the ballot for the Senate this year. My name is Linda Paulson, Republican and awesome. Love God and family and the Constitution. I tried to get another conservative to run. Nobody could do it, so I'm getting it done. I'm pro-religious freedom, pro-life, pro-police. The right to bear arms and the right to free speech. I want less government control and regulation want to stop and expose all political corruption where's integrity morality accountability government programs should lead to self-sufficiency and support traditional family as the fundamental unit of society but in schools they're pushing for new beliefs and just to clarify as a female adult i know what a woman is This country, it's a blessing to be free, but freedom comes with responsibility. The Constitution needs to be protected, not changed or disregarded, but resurrected. If you share my values, if you like what I stand for, then give me your vote on the 8th of November. District 12 needs a choice. Let me be your voice, Linda Paulson. Linda Paulson for Senate. Linda, that was incredible. <laughs> You all are hating. That was incredible. Linda, listen, I think that you should I think that you should actually send this to record labels, post this on SoundCloud, drop an EP, possibly an LP. That was just that was so, that was so good for all the wrong reasons. You know it. You know you enjoyed that. Um, first of all, I love how she's one of these people who's tone deaf for multiple reasons. She's both politically tone deaf and musically tone deaf. And on top of that, just rhyming words that don't rhyme. It's just like, <laughs> um, so, you know, it, it could be better, uh, but it's still really good. I would give it a solid eight out of 10. Uh, and I think that Anthony Fantano would agree with me on that. Uh, but listen, folks, I'm not going to try to do some deep dive into her political campaign, uh, go over why she's a bad candidate. I mean, I think that's self-evident. This is not a substantive story. This is just one of those stories where I think that we owe it to ourselves to soak it in because people like Linda Paulson, you know, they don't come along very often, but when they do come along, I think that we have to seize the moment and truly soak it all up because this is really enjoyable. And, you know, this is going to be a dead meme in like a week or two. So if Linda Paulson actually wanted to extend her 15 minutes of fame, she should drop an LP or an EP rather immediately. OK, now, listen, I'm known for making wacky intros or outros rather on my videos. I don't know how to extract the vocals from that, but if somebody found a way to get the vocals without the music, I promise you, I would create the most fire remix imaginable because I'm pretty decent at mixing. So if I could mix that in, it would be great. Um, now, I will say I did try to remix it a little bit. I, I ran the song through the Wub machine and I added some ad libs from Lil Jon. And I think that the result is honestly spectacular. So this is my remix. Uh, L Linda Paulson featuring Lil Jon, directed by yours truly. Mike Figueredo. District 12, listen up right here. What? There's a new name on the ballot for the Senate this year. Bitch. My name is Linda Paulson, Republican and awesome. Yeah. Bob and Penny and the Constitution. What? Name on This 
So what do you think? I don't think that it could beat the original, but it's still fairly good given that, you know, I, I only worked on it for like 20 or 30 minutes, which is a lot of time to dedicate on a Monday when I'm trying to film like multiple videos. But still, um, if, if I had access to the vocals, I would be so good. Now, the only way that Linda Paulson could one up this is if she brought in all the MAGA rappers like Tom, uh, what's Tom... What's the MAGA rapper, the blonde dude with the face tattoos? I'm, I'm blanking on his name. I was going to say Tom Holland, but I'm pretty sure that that's Spider-Man. No, it's it's Tom McDonald. That's who it is. So if she brought in Tom McDonald, brought in Buddy Brown, country MAGA sensation, and they did this like giant We Are The World-esque remix of this song, it might be so cringeworthy that it literally rips a hole in the space-time continuum, but it would be worth it just to see the way that it looks, just to see what that level of cringe would be like. But overall, look, folks, I, I want to ask you all this question and comment below, okay? Is she a cringeworthy grandma who should just not have done this? Or is she kind of a genius? Look, I might shock some of you, but low-key, I think she's a genius because nobody would know who Linda Paulson is had she not subjected herself to that. Is it cringeworthy? Of course. Is she never going to live it down? Obviously, she's never going to live this down. Her grandchildren are never going to want to be seen in public with her again. But this went massively viral for all the wrong reasons. I'll grant you that, yes. But millions of views? I mean, this is something that is, I think, honestly, an effective political tactic. Look, Republican ads are stupid. Okay, Democrat ads are stupid as well. But Republican ads, in particular, are very fucking imbecilic. But if you're going to do a dumb ad, Dan Crenshaw does it, uh, you know, uh, Ron DeSantis did a sort of parody of, of Top Gun. If you're going to do it, then you want to get the most eyeballs. And that's exactly what Linda did. So I'm sorry. Linda might be a homophobe asshole who is, you know, this traditional Republican who only wants to enact policies that harm people. But is she musically at least a legend? Fuck yes, she is. And we have to admit this, okay? So what she did here is smart. I hope that what she does is spawn like a bunch of copycat Republicans. Like, I want to see a rap. No, I don't. I was going to say I want to see a rap of Ted Cruz, but I don't want to see that. But I want to see raps from other Republicans who embarrass themselves just for views and clicks. If you are willing to humiliate yourself because you have no policy substance, I want to see that shit. And I know that you do too. So I've got nothing left to say about this. Uh, somebody, if you can get me the vocals... I will bless you with a really good remix, but Linda, keep it up. I think that you should shop this around to record labels. It's fire. Drop it on SoundCloud. I'm a fan, and I can't not stand Linda Paulson after this. I'm sorry. You all, you all feel the same way. Don't lie. District 12, listen up right here. There's a new name on the ballot for the Senate this year. My name is Linda Paulson, Republican and awesome. Love God and family and the Constitution. I tried to get another conservative to run.